Hello and welcome to Console Cowboys. In this video, we're going to take a look at converting the debugging environment we used in the last video to be more familiar like OLLIDB or an X64 look and feel. If you're enjoying this series, the best way to support the channel is by leaving a like, a comment, or even two comments below letting me know what you think of the video or maybe just what you had for breakfast. This all helps with the YouTube algorithm. Now let's get right into it. The first thing we're going to do is open up the application with analysis using R2 minus AA, A dot out. Once this is done, we're going to seek to main and we're going to run capital V exclamation point. Now this will give us a panels view that we can modify to our liking. So with the tab key, we can switch between each of these panels. Now if we go up to where the functions currently is and we hit the double quote, we can switch what we want in this panel by scrolling down and in OLLIDebug this would be where the registers are. So let's add that in here. We hit enter and that changes it to the registers. Now if we hit tab again on the symbols here and we hit the double quote, we can switch this to the stack like in OLLIDB. So we'll scroll down till we get to the stack and we'll hit enter. Now if we hit tab again, we're in the main disassembly and this would be a pretty good place to start debugging, but if we really want it to be like OLLIDB, we need the hex dump below. So we need to split this frame into two. We can do that with the hyphen command. And now we have two panels in the one. So if we hit the tab again to go down to that second disassembly and we hit the double quote, we can now turn this into the hex dump. So let's scroll down till we hit hex dump. And now we're set up exactly like OLLIDB. Additionally now, as you start clicking around to different things, you're gonna see different things on each of the panels change. And if we click up here and hit the period, we'll go right back to the beginning of the main function. So that's a good way to get back there, as you know. And if we hit the colon, then we also get our command prompt again. So what we can do is OOD to open this with debugging. And then we can type in DB main to put a breakpoint at main. We type in DC to continue to the breakpoint and we hit the breakpoint. Now if we hit enter here, we can start debugging, right? We just hit F8, F8, F8. And now you can start debugging like normal. Now, additionally, there are other settings and things you can do up here. So these are actual you know, tabs that will scroll down to different options. So you could save a layout or load a layout and you could do various other things with debugging and analyzing. So play around with all these and see if there's anything useful there for you. As well as, you know, for me personally, I probably wouldn't have this hex dump here. I'd add some more room for the uh, disassembly so I wouldn't split that window. And I might utilize the command line a little more. So whatever your preferences are. But that's all I really wanted to show for this video. So feel free to play around with this. And if you learned something, you know, comment below, like the video, and I'll catch you in the next video.